In this example, we're going to evaluate this algebraic expression, mn plus 3m minus 2, and we're going to do so uh, using values 3y minus 1 for m and negative y squared for n. So we're actually going to plug in algebraic expressions instead of simply numbers. So m times n. So our m was 3y minus 1, our n was negative y squared, plus 3 times m, and m is 3y minus 1, and then minus 2. So the best we can do now is to multiply all this out and combine any like terms that we might happen to have. So this looks like the distributive property, except I'm distributing from the back end here. So negative y squared will be multiplied by 3y and negative 1. So 3y times negative y squared, negative 3y cubed, because we have a single y here. When we have like bases and we're multiplying, we're going to add these exponents. 1 plus 2 is 3. Then I have negative 1 times negative y squared, so that'll be plus y squared. We'll do another distribution here and get plus 9y minus 3, and then this minus 2 comes along for the ride. So it seems like the only like terms I have are these constants on the end, because this is y cubed, y squared, and a single y, so these are not like terms. So the best I can do is just say negative 3y cubed plus y squared plus 9y minus 5. So this is the algebraic expression that I get when I evaluate this original algebraic expression for these values of m and n. And remember, values of m and n that we plug in don't have to be numeric. This doesn't have to be like a 3 or a negative 5. They can be other algebraic expressions. And this is what we got.